Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at something very simple, the idea of a beam in Java. And we're going to actually just use this later on as the so-called transfer object in our uh, DAO, database access object, pattern. So I've, I've got this application at the moment that um, creates a database. Let's run this. Uh, it doesn't create a database, actually. You, it connects to a database. So if I look in the source here and I go to the model, I've got this database class. And at the moment, what I'm doing is just to kind of test this, really, in my, um, in my view here, I'm connecting to the database when a window opens here and disconnecting when it closes. And I put in some, some code in that database class that uh, just uses JDBC, which I'm not going to go into in this particular tutorial because it's, um, it's got nothing to do with the design patterns as such, but it uses JDBC to connect to a MySQL database. And I've created this um, one table in my database here, which is a table called people. And the people table has an ID column, a name column, and a password column. And the idea is that when we run this program here, if I fill in some details here, like a name and a password, and click Create User, it's going to add a row to that table with a name and a password and an, and an ID. So uh, I'm going to use the DAO pattern to implement that. And the first step is I need my transfer object. And this is just an object that just contains the data that I want to deal with for this particular table. And this is basically just a bean. And the idea of a bean is very simple. So I'm going to put this in the model, because this is part of the data model. I'm going to right-click my model package and go to New Class. And I'll call this Person. Click Finish. And I just add the bits of data that I, that I want that I need um, in my person class. So whatever bits of data I associate with a person in my database is going to be in my person class. And in this case, I'm going to have a private int ID, a private string name, and I'm also going to have a private string password. Uh, and usually, actually, in, um, in a real system, you probably wouldn't pass around an unencrypted password. You probably, as soon as you get the password, you probably perform some hashing algorithm on it uh, and you create some sort of encrypted version of it and deal with that in future. Um, but just for demo purposes here, I'm going to deal with a plain password. And a bean, uh, the, the kind of definition of a bean is that it's got to have a, a no argument constructor so you can just create it. Um, without passing any arguments to the constructor. And apart from that, it just has usually, well, you can put whatever you want in there, but really a bean just um, is just usually intended to be a lightweight little class that just has get and set methods. So if I just right click here and go to source, generate getters and setters, and I tick the things that I want to generate getters and setters for, click OK, and there we go. And these getters and setters, they have kind of like a standard format. So usually they're called get or set with a capital letter on the first um, the first word of the thing you're getting or setting. And for Boolean values, they will be auto-generated with is rather than get. So you'll say like um, is, I don't know, is tax exempt rather than get tax exempt if it's a Boolean. And that's all, all uh, that we're going to look at in this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to move on to uh, implementing the DAO pattern using this. So until next time, happy coding. Thanks for watching guys. Don't hesitate. If you have any doubts or question, leave a comment below. Hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to my channel for more.